ili uelewe uko wapi na wewe ni nani. Kama unaweza neno ambalo linaita youth life lead to hope. A youth life lead to hope. Maisha ya ujana ambayo ni ya kumuishia Mungu. Nazaliwa dunia hii na Mungu akakupa nafasi ukawa kijana. Unaweza chakua kujiishia mwenyewe? Unaweza chakua kuishia mambo yako ili unajua? Na unaweza chakua kumuishia Mwenyezi Mungu. So I'm talking about a youth life live for God. Praise the name of Jesus. Tumesoma from the book of uh, Ecclesiastes in Swahili and I want to read it in English. And I share a few things. The Bible says, remember your creator in the days of your youth. Before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars go stuck and the clouds return after the rain. When the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stood. When the grinders cease because they are few, and those looking through the windows grow in. When the doors to the street are closed and the sound of grinding fades. When people rise up at the sound of birds and all their songs grow faint. When people are afraid of heights and of the dangers in the streets. When the almond tree blossoms and the grasshoppers runs itself alone and desire no longer is sad. Then people go to their eternal home and mourners go about the streets. Remember him before the silver cord is severe and the golden bow is broken. Before the teacher is shattered and the spring and the wheel broken at the well. And the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Read together with me, number eight. Meaning, says the teacher, everything is meaningless. I want to bring three truths. I'm calling this message today about a youth live for God and I'm sure you are going to be blessed. Ecclesiastes nikitabu naitwa mubiri sangine nikitabu kwa hele. Mwandisha kiwa ni mwana wa Dawud ya nito Suleimani. Mpano wa kipeke alie omba hekima wakata alipewa na fasi ya kuongoza mwede tunemaliza uchambuzi tunapea biongozi kuongoza Yeye hapa kukimbia na kuanza kuongoza. Aliingiwa na moyo wa upole, na moyo wa ujikeli. Na akaenda mbele za Mungu akasema, "Mungu, nisaidie kwa sababu nitajuaje mimi kwenda mbele za hao watu na kutoka." Ninajua pia baba yangu Daudi alimwongoza, na hivyo Mungu nisaidie. Maana anasema usiku akiwa melala, Mungu akatuma malaika wake na akasimama mbele za akamwambia nimekupenda na nimekuchagua na lolote utaomba nitakupatia omba sasa ile nasema Daudi ama Suleimani hakuomba vitu vya dunia hii alisema Bwana nipe moyo wa hekima nijue jinsi ya kuenda mbele za watu na jinsi ya kwenda mbele za so this haya maneno ni maneno ambayo ya the one yeah, talk about the wisest man in the whole world. Kujali kwa na mtumbile mwenye hekima kuliko king so. Anadika hii tabu ambacho anaanza mwanzo na maajabu. Sili kama uliona chapter one the way it starts. Kama na bila kukusa kidogo kukwiki hapo yunga. Bila anaanza mlaka wa kama. Mlaka wa kama anasema maneni ya mbi. Mwana wa naubi. Mfani na katika Yusalemu. Basi kumubili asema, ubatili mtuku, ubatili mtuku, 
mambo yote mpatie mtu ana faida gani ya kazi yake yote afanyayo chini ya Mungu aliandika hii kitabu kama sana mzee amekaa katika kiti cha utawala amekuwa na watoto by the way wanaume ana wanaume wenzangu yes mnasemaje hiyo unajua kuoa huyu alioa Suleiman alioa na wake ni asita ni asita ni asita sio kuunga majina ya wale watu hata kama ni asita and then the other boy na daraja kidogo na kama wana mbali tena sikio na hepato na huko 600 yani yani expert wa kuwa aka si wana wote kumishia mungu tu kumishia mungu 300 ju na wengine za 1000 moja hiyo eh na baadhi ya hao watasimulia na na wao nafikiri watu wa dunia hii wote paka mtoto wa Suleiman akuka hali. Bali yake ndio kwa wao na hiyo. Hata hii kenda wao. Dar es Salaam. Ambaye anapangalia vijana. Anasema mkumbuke muumba wako siku za ujana wako. Amen. Amen. Kabla sijakuja siku ambazo utasema kama ni yeye. A youth life ni vizuri iwe maisha ambayo ni ya kumuishia Mungu. Praise the name of Jesus. Na in this chapter tu nikiweka kidogo pamoja. Nilipokuwa naangalia naona verse 1 to 2 in this chapter 12 is what I call the problem is declared. King Solomon declares the problem. Your father despite the life you are living but problems are in this land. You are not true. Na mtu yote akisema kwamba hana shida ni mwongo. Shida ziko. Part of life ni problems. So the problem is declared. After declaring the problem verse 3 to 10, anasema kwamba I see a lot of problems. And anarudi anasema now let's discuss this problem. Problems we need to get. What can we do? We can discuss about them and think about them. See the solution to the shida. Shida is okay, I don't run from the problem because I'm what way to the mom. Kuna reactions by by kwa shida. King Solomon says we can talk about problem. We can discuss about them. And then 11 to 12 we see what we call the problem decided. The problem is there. You think about it and you can come up with a decision. What decision did Solomon come up with? It is in verse 8. A repetition of chapter 1 verse 1. Meaningless, meaningless. Everything is Passionately, that's a very 
Brothers and sisters, you know what it means all. To the your mother all. All means all. Everything, it means all. All that you need in life. I will show you soon some of the old things. Seek God first and his righteousness. He knows what you need. And you will meet your needs according to his riches in the glory. Amen. He your version in the Solomon and Yoda be at a mini cabla tells or mini man. Nanasema Mufubuke Mumba Bako Siku Saudiana Bako. Amen. Remember your creator when you are young. Second, recognize life is to be used as a precious resource. Life is to be used that you can recognize because it takes your cognitive, it takes your knowledge, it takes your knowing of things, your discovery, your understanding of things. You cannot be a person about the same I am recognizing things. Now, I have used this word intentionally. Recognize that life is to be used as a precious resource. When the Solomon says, remember you are creator. Ameona maisha ni atamani. Na nataka kila kijana na hameishi maisha. Aishi akitamua mamba. Mirasilimani ya kipeke ambayo mwezi mungu amepatia. Jina la isu nipesi. Hakuna kitu kingine cha mahali umekoa. Ni hayo maisha kuliko nayo. That is why hapa kwetu kuna utofauti. Hapa kwetu mtaka ni za gonga wewe. Anawacha kukufa kwa mtaka na anasema atakataka wewe. Watu wenye wanajua maana ya maisha hawezi dhuru maisha na akafurahi. Atasikia utumu na atasikia uzuri. Kumuka mwaka mwote ni nitatia kule marekani na nikatebesho kwa makaburi. Jamu mwote ni nifraisha. Makaburi kule namo wazendi wa wikufa wini. Sio vijana na sio watoto. Kieta site ya mazishi ya watoto, unawana tu makaburi tano si itakuu. But wazendi, kwa sababu wazendi wanasema wakufi. Halo? Kwa hindi kumasa miaka kwa mwote wakaka ni jume? Some of these things you understand. Find that first time to put on 
Like I just said, God. Yeah, people? Who not part of the creation of God? To me, what has to be a To now, we are not going to be To now, we are not going to be a To be a good First time, excitement. We are not going to be a good walk. We are not going to be a good walk.
inatambua huko chini ikienda mpaka kama kumalizia basi things get yes hai ndio when the bible talks about keepers of the house tremble you know what it means nimekwambia wewe ni mtu wa heri anaotaka ni heri keepers of the house anasema you are your arms and hearts tremble hello youth life live for god Hiko wakati umeshona mtu alisimama hivi na miguu na hiyo na eh mikono hiyo ndio nasikia unajua house ni body mwili ndio ndio nyumba miguu na mikono zinaanza ku na nilishata nilishata siku moja nilikutana na mtu mmoja just a short guy sio mrefu just a short person But I don't know what happened. Now we can attack. Mungu mmoja. Na ina kata. Mimi nilikuwa nadhania mtu anakuwa na shida na miguu labda ni mtu mrefu. Labda mtu mnene. Na imagine kwanza niliambia nikasema hii mwili ni mungu kaka kwa mungu kwa but he may attack. Na ina kata. Na itajaribiwa hakuna. Kufuatiwa baadaye wa adui ameshaingia kwa maisha yake amesababisha mguu haitatembea. They are times that the keepers of the house they can say no again. Hello? Verse three b says strong men. Are you seeing the strong men in the scriptures? You know what this strong men these are your legs. Sisi tunasema sasa tunasaidia kukimbia. Yes, tunasaidia kukimbia. You know that you are now to glory but you are better to be a for the Lord. By the way, if you are in Afghan, you are not going to be able to get your children. You are not going to be able to get your children. You are not going to be able to get your children. You are not going to be able to get your children. By the way, you are not going to be able to get your children. I used to run. 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 Manasi msole ya kiba hiyo mingu 
kama ameenda state house ya Kabarak wakati wa pasaka wa batisti wamelelea Mungu akiwa mwalimu unaona mzee moyo kinyana na muka anakuja anaambia sijawahi mbio yule mwalimu alikuja hii church kisha kwanza akatuambia vile mnaniona hivi nimepoteza kinaitwa machozi Machozi. Afadhali wewe unazuia hapo watu wacha kuia kama mtoto. Unaona ile machozi na kwa kwa macho hii, madaktari wanajua ni afya. Na wacha mtu alivyo. Machozi inaenda. Macho yamegeuka badala ya kuenda kuwa safi. Kama wewe mwepesi wa kujua ukiona machozi ikidia toa. Hiyo ndiyo inasababisha macho yake ende kuona. Lia, wanaoma pana tabaja kwa roho waliambia, kumbe kutoa machozi ndio kusafisha macho. Asimama akatoa mimi machozi ilienda asiapo aitoa machozi Ninaonapo ukiangalia mtu akitoa macho unamwambia ni muone Asimama akatoa mate yangu ilienda na nikashangaa kupoteza mate kwa mdomo kukanyoa amenda na watoto Kumbe kuko na macho kwa mdomo ni kitu Hello Hello Ukiona mtoto anaangia maji kutafuta kitu kwa Musa wewe acha mambo mengi Mimi niliangalia nasema baba kumbe vitu vya tatu kwanza ni michezo Mungu alivunga tu vya maana katika maisha Thank God unaweza wewe unaweza wapi kama mimi Unaweza kama mtu sio Kinsoni mwanaliona hivi akasema time is coming the grandness go na wana watu wana kula nyama unaangalia tu kwa maji. Kula saa hii. What are you seeing in 4A? Or 3D? 3D I'm seeing something. The Bible says in 3D, windows go deep. What is that? Macho ya mekata kwa. Inafika wakati wa by the eyes and your vision begins to turn around. Macho iko mahali Are you seeing the lag of money? 
When the doors to the street are closed and the sound of crying is made, I've told them, the doors, doors the first either you are hearing starts to fail or you close your mouth because you close your teeth. Hello, Vianna. Say smile. Check that. Check that your pizza. Smile. Now smile not the sound. He called that and told him that he said, Put on your hand, put on your hand. Smile. Young people smile. Now smile here, yes, yes, what I'm saying. Papa, but I'm not going to see you. You know some of the best stories that I've ever seen. Now I'm here for my guys. Best boyfriend is me. Come on, my picture, your young. Smile here. Now I'm here, smile here, baby. I will help you. Can you smile here, baby? Smile. Where did you get from? I'm going to smile. My name is Mark Akau. My name is Mark Akau. Smile here, yes. I'm going to put your charger by your side. Come on, I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile, son. I'm going to put your charger by your side. You're going to smile here, baby. You better do that. There is a reward for that from the Lord. Dan kau sudah buat. Nana di atas nama Zeo yang ada di bawah itu buat. Itu nak buat. Ada di bintang. Ada di kopi yang betul betul asal. Semai ayah Yesus. Hello guys. Yes, my God, my soul. Then we go to the verse four. Verse four says, "You wake up. You said us about rising up. Can I give you wisdom for that?" This rise in our past four sea, the first you wake up with the bugs and eat money and wish you could sleep longer. Sanane is also Hakuna was in this. Hakuna was in this. Hakuna. Menane is in this. Hakuna 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 is in this. Kami akan berdoa untuk anda. Kamu mahu kau berdoa untuk anda? Do you know why? Mung dia berdoa sendiri. Mung dia berdoa sendiri. Young people, a time is coming where you can wake up with the animals. Then they are part of the reality. In a few years, they are going to be a sana, a sana, a sana. They are going to be a sana. Saki sak nasir nafwa tu kau ini. Saku ini nasir nafwa. There is a time, young people, need for God. You can be raising up with those parts. For he talks about music. And this is good for the singers. Amen. Now I'm not going to give up for them. By the way, when I'm going to give up for them, I'm going to give up for them. 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 Ima, ziko sauti ya zinatokana kwa tumbo, yule zinatokana hapa, yule zinatokana hapa, yule zinatokana hapa, yule zinatokana hapa, yule zinatokana hapa. Hoa sauti ifikiki. Hiko wakata kwa zokuwa na hiko, kama mana hiko. Kuna siri kutahiba na hiko, na hiko, na hiko, na hiko, na hiko. Sauti kienda. King Solomon says, a time comes when you see, you want to see and you can't see. Verse 5a, you are afraid. You are terrified of hearts and afraid of falling while you walk down the streets. You know what I'm You walk down the street and you get to jump. Almond tree. Are you ready for 5B? An almond tree refers to you if you have any hair left. Hello? Una fika mimi ni zaliwa na hiyo. Na wana mwikiwa na angaliyana na kusumai. Eh, una mimi ni zaliwa na hiyo. Una mimi ni zaliwa na hiyo. Non ha fatto un po'. 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 Quando some hairs are left, a time comes, all hairs can go. Non ha fatto un po'. 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 
remain the days of trouble when disabilities, sickness, handicaps, all night barriers come our way, we will still enjoy life. Amen. We will still enjoy. Hapo to live is Christ and to die is pain. You will still enjoy that. There is satisfaction because of the hope of eternal life. Satisfaction will be there. Because you have hope of eternal life. Then the book closes with the main verse by saying, verse 8, from how it began in chapter 1, verse 2, emphasizing the emptiness of life without God. When you look at life under the sun, everything does seem vain. But when you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are never, it's not in vain. It's not in vain. When you know Jesus, you are never accepted. First Corinthians 15, verse 58. Paul had shared so many things to the church of Corinth. And he said, Therefore, which means final remarks. And it's good for you to read with me that. Are you ready to read with me that? Yes. Let's read together, therefore. Thank you. 